Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 9, unit 3. Poem on Killing a Tree. Written by Give Patil. So dear children, today we are going to read a new poem that is On Killing a Tree. The title itself gives some sort of different opinion. Everybody is telling plant a tree, plant a tree. Now suddenly on killing a tree. So it is hurting us, isn't it? The moment we read the line itself, it is not giving a good feel. Let us see how, why, what and all. Fine, you all love trees, isn't it? We do plant trees and we want to get lot of pleasures, treasures from the tree. Because trees give us plenty of things from oxygen and it helps us in uh, preventing soil erosion, gives us rain and fruits, nuts, food material, medicine and 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 it goes like that. Fine. Shall we start children? Actually, this particular poem tells the importance of the tree. And those who don't know the importance of that. Those who know the importance of the trees, well and good. Those who do not know, for them only it is very much essential. And because trees do not grow just like that. Within one day, come plant a tree, next day big tree. Not like that. It takes so much time to grow. Fine? It takes much time to kill a tree. As I said now, trees do not grow all on a sudden. In one day, a tree grew. Not like that. It takes much time, so many days, months, years to grow. Not a simple jab of the knife. So take one small knife, give one small cut. Can we do like that? Cutting a tree? No, not possible. Will do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth. It has grown slowly, gradually consuming the earth by taking all the five things, no, like air, water, land, um, universe, everything it is taking, sun, heat, water, everything. So it has taken, consuming everything, it has grown for these many years. Rising out of it, feeding Upon its crust. Feeding upon me, it is taking. You know the earth. Like crust, core, mantle. Okay, core, mantle, crust. Core means inside part. It is burning. Mantle, middle part. Crust, outside part. Okay. So it is penetrating the roots and taking, absorbing everything. Absorbing years of sunlight, air and water. So, this particular tree, they used to take years of sunlight. So, how much energy they are taking, you know? Sunlight, air, water and out of its leprous height, sprouting leaves. And outside, leprous means actually leprous disease. It is skin disease, we can tell. So, when it is not smooth or soft, leprous hide, hide outside skin. So, leprosy it is not smooth. Hide means it is the outside part, skin. So, leprous hide with scale type. Sprouting leaves. Leaves are coming outside. So, hack and chop. But this alone won't do it. See, normally when we cut the tree, no? So just to cut it. And we have to hack, tie it, cut, cut, cut into small, small bits and pieces. Not so much pain will do it. So, if we, when we cut a tree, no, we have to imagine that it is a tree. It is a life. It is like a human being that will have its own pain. Fine. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal. We may not mind all that, but it too has the feelings. It will uh, emit or segregate some sort of liquid like a blood. Okay, But then also it will heal itself. We need not go and give any medicines. It will heal itself. It has the ability to 
heel itself and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs then also even if you cut the tree from the root again it will shoot up green twigs green leaves green tender things will come up again miniature boughs like twigs again branches will come up which if unchecked will expand again to form a size so just now you cut the tree and if you just like that leave it and go the tree will heal the wounds and once again the green leaves will shoot up and once again after some time the big tree will grow again no the root is to be pulled out if you really want to kill a tree what you should do you should remove the root you should pull the root because there is the strength there is the energy there is the life the soul everything is in the root if you simply cut one branch if you simply cut the stem or fruit or leaves you cannot kill the tree if you really want to kill the tree you have to remove the root because the life of the tree is in the root root le da uir irukudu one of the anchoring earth anchoring means nanguram it is holding the tree tight it is to be roped tight if you have that much energy if you have that much guts if you the if you are so much interested in killing the tree what you should do you have to, to tie the tree with a rope tie nicely and pull it do you think it is so easy not at all because the roots will be spread in many directions it will be tightly holding like a anchor anchor means you know um, normally in a ship and all they used to use you no know, that one like anchoring it will be there then you pull me rope tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely unless and until you pull the root fully thoroughly the tree will have its own life and it will again grow out from the earth cave so earth cave it is growing if you really want to pull a tree you have to remove from the root from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet okay the strength of the tree is exposed actually it is inside the earth it has to come outside and it will show because the tree's root is inside the earth and once it comes out the thing will be white color it will be wet water it because it is re- sucking water from the earth the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth if still now it is inside the earth for a long time it is giving all energy to the tree and if you really want to kill the tree remove the root from inside that will be white and wet then the matter of scorching choking and if at all after doing also if you pull the tree outside and put it outside it will dry in the sun scorching with the help of the sun and choking because it cannot breathe because everything came outside in the sun and air browning browning means color now the color of the tree will become brown and everything will become hard twisting withering and then it is done okay brown hardening twisting withering and then only you can kill the tree do you want to kill the tree like that don't you feel some sort of feeling in your mind should we kill a tree like this no we shouldn't isn't it so we should not kill a tree instead we have to come forward to plant a tree cutting a tree is equal to killing a person killing a die hard person in a die hard way understand kashtapattu kola pandra mari for the tree has immense properties of life as attain regeneration and resistance to death okay it will not just like that die avlo seekrama onnu saga poradilla adanalai you should not kill it 
okay if you would support the author dr gv patel is one of the prominent indian poets his famous works include evening for cynic medicine and from bombay central he has also penned three plays he has written three plays drama he has been conducting a poetry workshop in rishi valley school for more than a decade this poem is taken from his poetry collection poems from the poetry collection poems it is taken published in 1966 Now children let us um, study something about the question answers B part read the following lines from the poem and answer the questions in the sentence or two It takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it Can a simple jab of the knife kill a tree Answer is no a simple jab of the knife cannot kill a tree Why does it take much time to kill a tree? The tree is very strong and the root is very deep in the earth. Question 2. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing. Question 1. How has the tree grown? The tree has grown slowly. 2. What does the tree feed? from the crust the tree feeds water from the crust question 3 and out of its leprous height sprouting leaves question 1 what does the phrase leprous hide mean leprous hide means bark of the tree question 2 what comes out of the leprous hide tiny leaves come out of the leprous hide question 4 the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs question 1 what will happen to the bleeding bark the bleeding bark will heal adha seri aidu gunam aidu question 2 what will rise from close to the ground the curled green twigs will rise from close to the ground the kutti kutti branches varum question 5 the root is to be pulled out one of the anchoring earth why should the root be pulled out to dry it and kill the tree ye root pudichedukano appo dhan unmayana kola panna mudiyum second what does anchoring earth mean anchoring earth means fixing the tree firmly inside the earth next c question based on the understanding of the poem write down the summary of the poem by filling in the blanks the poet explains the process of dash killing a tree a lot of work has to be done in order to kill it completely it cannot be accomplished by merely cutting it with a knife the tree has grown strong with the help of the earth for countless years even the branch of the tree gives rise to boughs the bough sprouts new twigs and leaves in a short period they grow into a new tree so to kill a tree completely one should take out its roots completely from the soil then they should be exposed to sun and air and then the tree will be completely killed section d based on the understanding of the poem answer the following questions in a sentence or two what is the poem about The poem is about the killing of a tree. Question 2. What are the lessons to be learnt from the poem? We must grow trees, protect the trees and we should not kill a tree. But we have to be eco-friendly. Question 3. 
what are the life sources needed for a tree to grow the earth the sunlight the air and water idella thev irukudu tree valaradhukku four what does the poet mean by bleeding bark the bleeding bark bleeds when it is cut with a knife knife which cut agumbodu bleeding bark question 5 why the poet says no in the beginning of the third stanza more hack and chop cannot kill a tree the root must be pulled out root um send edtha mattumna full tree full mudikka mudiyum sixth how should the root be pulled out root eppadi kalti full edukiradhu the root should be pulled out of the anchoring earth question 7 what is hidden inside the earth for years earth la full um avlunala enna irukudhu the roots are hidden inside the earth for years eighth what finally happens to the tree in this poem in the poem la kadisiya tree ku enna agudhu the tree is really exposed to the sunlight and air okay moving on to the poetic devices f section complete the table by identifying lines against the poetic devices from the poem it takes much time to kill a tree so inge vanda uyirillada porulukku uyir kuduthu pesrenaala that is called as personification the bleeding bark will heal bleeding naka blood ratham varudhu so bleeding bark marathukku ratham varuma so adanal uyir illadadhukku uyir kuduthu pesrom illaya so it is personification one of the anchoring earth ipo the anchor sollumbode adu will remember that word the ship alla nirthradhukaga use pandranga illaya anchor so that is called appo edhu nalum kann vechi paakkuradhu five senses use panni edha pannonaka that is called as imagery so one of the anchoring earth figure of speech or poetic devices imagery i hope all of you understood now we'll see the glossary jab means to poke or thrust up abruptly with a short quick blow adha kutti knife vechi cut pattu adi kudukuradhu crust the brown hard outer portion of the surface normal earth ku core mantle crust leprous covered with scales hide naka the strong thick outer skin hide naka velil irukra thol miniature very small kuttiya so i hope all of you understood children and this is a memorizer first two, two stanzas we have to memorize so that will read again it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous height sprouting leaves so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size no the root is to be pulled out one of the anchoring earth is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth's cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done now shall we sing the song it takes much time to kill a tree 
not a simple jab of the knife will do it it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight and water it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight and water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curl green twigs miniature boughs the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curl green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size which if unchecked will expand again to form a size song and music mr k stephen jeraj graduate teacher english government higher secondary school terupullani ramanadapuram thank you sir